Over the past couple of weeks, we've heard from the candidates answering a number of questions from how to address the police officer shortage to tackling gun violence and how to best attract new businesses to our community. Today, it's their turn to tell us their top priority day one in office. First up, Darrell Williams, who says his first priority is tackling what he says is wasteful spending in City Hall. So you get rid of the waste and then there's a lot of other programs you can deal with with that extra money. So I'm pretty sure at the mayor's budget, the council won't be mad if I say I'm going to take a million and, and help trade schools. That's not my own budget. Mayor Randall Woodfin says that he's going to continue to focus on the same areas he started tackling when he first came into office. Remove more blight, go vertical with more single family homes, invest more in paving and sidewalks, support our neighborhood parks more, continue to partner with Alabama Power more LED lights so people can feel safe, continue to chase down and go after grocery stores and wade through as many no's until we get to a yes, and continue to take guns off the street. And hopefully one day maybe the federal government the state government will wake up and actually support cities in their effort of fighting and decreasing gun violence. And Chris Wood says he wants to make sure residents know that their voices and their concerns will not be ignored. Safety and education. We have to uh, form that partnership with the sheriff's department to give us instantly uh, the manpower available uh, in the communities and dealing with the dilapidated properties, um, the community, these potholes, all these services the city can self-perform uh, will be wide open uh, and cleaning up our neighborhoods. That's, that's number one. We can't go further on anything else until the neighborhood services are addressed. Don't forget to vote. The election is next Tuesday, August 24th. Polls are going to open from 7 a.m. until 7 p.m. And if you want to check out a sample ballot before you head to the polls, we've got that for you right now on the WVTM 13 app. I'm Ian Wright's WVTM 13 News.